Hi, my name is Bob Peoples. I'm here to introduce you to the mini press put out by Shuttle Systems. My first contact with this piece of equipment was about 10 years ago and been using it off and on since that time. The nice thing about this piece of equipment is its versatility. It can be used in the home for home health care. We can bring that mini press right to you at the home. It can be brought right to a client in a subacute rehab setting and used for upper and lower extremities. Um, the other feature of the mini press that's quite nice is this is about 14 pounds total weight. It's got some nice little rollers on the front so you can roll um, right behind you. Uh, we've positioned it at times to be able to carry a little bag for home health type use. You can bring all your gear right there with it and roll right in. Okay. Another nice feature about the mini press from a documentation standpoint, it's, it has scaled pieces on here so you can actually look at different aspects of, uh, of documentation. And I brought in somebody to help me demonstrate the versatility of the mini press. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this mini press in. Okay. Just gonna have you bring your feet apart just a little bit. Slide it into place. Now, one feature that's really nice, I'm gonna bring your foot up on top of the mini press, is this piece has an attachment point coming off here. And that we can bring around and attach and secure to a chair or a plinth or another surface to secure the mini press so it doesn't slide all over. Okay, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Okay, have you put both feet on the mini press foot plate or the push plate? Okay, and then with them sitting in a nice position, gently push that out and control back. So we're gonna get a concentric work and eccentric work of the lower extremities with pushing. Let's give you about five or six nice easy pushes. And what the first thing that most people that get on the mini press will notice is how smooth the glide is on this. It's just, it's, it's really almost effortless how it slides up and down the rail. Okay, again, so this type of position, we'd be working on things like sit to stand, leg strength, leg control from this position here. Okay, then we can also change the position of the mini press versus moving the client we can change the position of the mini press and work a whole different set of muscle groups. From this position, we're now working hamstrings and we're working them in a shortened phase, in the concentric phase, as well as eccentrically working the hamstrings as they lengthen. We can position the mini press on the floor and give the client some support, whether it's with a piece of doweling or in this case, it's just a weighted bar and he is working on hip extension with resistance. Now, you can also look at cues for posture and things like that from this position. Now, don't worry about it now. Is uh, eventually we can look at those aspects. Another nice feature is even though he is pushing in this situation with his right lower extremity, his left lower extre extremity, his stance leg, is actually working almost as hard to maintain upright position. To increase your challenge, you could take away the, the staff that he's holding on to and force him to disuse his balance and proprioceptors to maintain upright position. Now we've moved the mini press onto a table platform or a, a plinth platform. This could also easily be a client's bed and we can work on leg presses from the bed. One of the features you wouldn't wanna look at is giving a stable base to push from, so having it against the wall or potentially the foot of the bed would definitely be helpful in this situation. The other thing to consider is making sure that the track has clearance underneath, not catching any of the linens. So to prevent any sort of uh, catching of, of linens underneath, you can support the uh, end piece up a little bit just to give you some clearance. Again, just take that situation as it comes. So this position, we're working closed kinetic chain, work on the left lower extremity, 
and functionally I would be working on leg strength and even his ability to go from sit to stand while he's lying down.